Ladies and gents, welcome back to Banjo Tooie. We're heading at this point, pretty much almost into the end game. We're in the middle of world eight of nine. And we did a pretty damn good job, I feel, this far of getting all the things, you know, in the game. In fact, what I'm curious here, this is what I wanted to look at. I wanted to see out in the actual open world of the game, what have I gotten and what haven't I got. From what I can see here, there's still a Jinjo out there somewhere I never got. Don't ask me where. And there's three different um, Jiggies that I somehow did not find out in the open world. I, I don't know where they are. Like, you know, I'm thinking about it and I'm like, what realistically haven't I done? Oh, you know what it could be? Maybe those three Jiggies are for the final Jinjos. And what I mean by that is, you remember each time you collect all the certain color of a, jin, uh, a Jiggy? Excuse me, this all the certain color of a Jinjo, you get a Jiggy for it. So maybe there's three colors I haven't finished yet, and I'll just get those naturally. But there's still a Jinjo out here that somehow I didn't get. Hmm. I wonder where the hell that could be. I have no idea. <clears throat> huh. I guess what we should do, we should go back to World 8 and just continue on. Because remember, I'm having a lot of fun with World 8. We just got the ability to turn into a bee. We got the seeds that we need to plant that it looks like Mumbo needs to use his magic to make them grow. So I feel like we should just got to go back there and focus on that. Um, This would be Clifftop? No, that's Fire and Ice. This would be Wasteland. Wasteland. Okay. And then this way. Here we go. Wait a minute. I don't think it is this way. Nah, that's a fake Jinjo. That's not the right way. It's supposed to be this way. There we go. Yup, it is this way. Through the cave. La 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 la. You know, I do have to say, this game has a tremendous amount of content. Especially considering the era it came out. This is the PS1 and N64 era. To have a game that's this long. And, and not tediously annoying and, and ball-poundingly just torturing like Donkey Kong 64 was, because yes, Donkey Kong 64 has a ton of content too, but it's just not fun. This game is very fun. <clears throat> okay. So what I need to do is I need to go back down. Yeah, I need to get back down to the bottom areas. Because if you remember, we were going to use Wumba's magic to turn into a bee. And we were then going to try to get at those flowers that look like they're, they have eyeballs. I think you can actually kill them and then get the items inside of them. But I gotta figure out how to get back to the Lumbo Magic area. Oh, is this it? Wait, what's this? Nothing. Yeah, I might have already done it. I'm just trying to think, how do you shoot over there? Uh, a few shout-outs. Beautiful Butterfly tipped me a dollar. He says, we'll be playing the Crisis Remaster. What are your thoughts on the Darkness games? Well, I never played Crisis 1. Crisis 1, if you remember... By the way, what is this? Oh, look at that. Now, wait a minute. That's one of the combination switches. Does that mean there's a ledge where I need to shoot like a clockwork guy so he can get in there and get to that switch? Maybe. I gotta look around here. Is there a place where I can put a clockwork guy in there Yeah, look. Right there. I just found that. Yup. Okay, let's do this one while we're here. But anyway, uh, so Crisis was a game that when it came out was like the definitive game of the console, of not console generation, of the PC generation, right? Like, that was like, supposed to be the best looking game ever on PC. And people actually use Crisis for a long period of time as a way to benchmark PC components off of each other. Alright. 
It was like the gold standard of gaming. And that was a long effing time ago, okay? Um, now things have definitely changed, uh, but I never played Crisis 1. So absolutely, I would like to play Crisis 1 um, and see what all the hoopla is about, as they say, and uh, give it a shot. I played Crisis 2. I thought the game was good. I wasn't in love with it, but I did like it. Crisis 3, I absolutely hated and never played. I, I, I played it for like a few hours. I got so bored at the cheesiness of it, I stopped. Okay. Um, Dusk Noir tipped me two dollars, so thank you guys for the tips. That gets us up to uh, thirteen dollars in tips today. <clears throat> so I appreciate that, guys. Um, hello to Quincy the Duck, and hello to Hey There, Babe. Why are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing all right. <clears throat> okay. Now, how do I get down? Oh, I gotta fly. That's how I get down there. So let's fly over there. Turn into a bee. Alright. And then come back over here. And, uh... Try to do this flower stuff. But you know what? You know what I could do? I could try to do this again. I actually got some good advice about this. People call it the double thumb tap. So what I should be doing is alternating my thumbs on the button. Ready? People saying if you alternate your thumb on the button, you'll basically get twice the button taps. I don't think it's working. It's actually not working. Oh, you wonder why this doesn't work? Because of the Xbox One controller. This doesn't work because the Xbox One controller button is so small. It's not registering the double thumb taps as I press them. Like, I'm trying to do double thumb taps, but look how slow it's going. If I just tap normally, it goes faster. Look. Yeah. This is a flaw of the Xbox One controller. Um, It's definitely a flaw of the Xbox One controller that the buttons are so small, you can't really tap them quickly. Alright. Keeper of the Forest says try using a pen. It's impossible without. So what do you mean? Like, take a pen and just go da 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 da, -da on the button? Because I could try to do that. Do you really think that would help? Because here she come. There's no way you could stay ahead of her the whole time without, like, mashing, like, insanely, right? All right, hold on. Fuck this. So I'm being told to get a pen. Let me get a pen and see if this works. <clears throat> Alright, I got a pen. Alright? <clears throat> so I guess you go like this, right? Go like this. Instead of using your thumb, you go like this with the pen. I can try that. <clears throat> Alright. I'll give it a shot. Good to go. Oh my god, I can't do this. Wow, this is tough. Actually, no, this is actually working now. It is. It's working. She's gonna get catch up though. Cause I screwed up at the beginning. You gotta do this, like, flawlessly the whole time. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just gonna let it time out. <clears throat> uh, get in. Thanks for the 100-bit cheer, but no, I'm not considering a bigger chips goal for a bigger reward like a tuxedo stream. I'm really happy with how things are going now. Hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to think I could do this. 
Oh my god, listen to this. Try the end of a curved spoon and slide it in and off of it. What? Phil Rona says, I guess I'm not weird for having always used a pen tip to slide over the button and not press it like that. The pen tip? Like, actually using the tip? Because I wasn't. The pen wasn't out. You're saying actually use the pen tip and slide it over the button. How the hell would I do that? <laughs> I know. If you see those, the tip's going to break. Everybody's snap ink shirting everywhere, and I'm not doing that. Damn. Ha <laughs> ha! You're reading bouchers, what the hell is this, the Pain Olympics? <laughs> it certainly seems like we're, we're, we're heading that way. But I do have to admit, that's a flaw. Of the, even though I like the Xbox One controller way more than I like the PS4 controller, the PS4 face buttons are better than the Xbox face buttons. These buttons are like... They, they're like, I don't even know how to describe them. You know, like the, the, the PS4 button, you can you can mash that thing and you're fine. This you mash it and you get tired, you know. No real Spider-Man, I never considered buying the Elite Controller. In my opinion, it's insanely overpriced and I would never benefit from something like that anyway. I'm not a competitive gamer, so. <clears throat> oh my God. Yeah, I know, Silent Weapon says makes you miss Turbo Controllers from back in the day. How am I, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Oh. Let me think about this. If I put the controller here, and I just mash it like this, maybe I can hit it more if I lay it flat. Rather than holding it, I lay it flat on my, my table here, and I mash it with my finger like this, downward. I could hit it more times than if I'm, like, pressing, probably. Any shrill, just give your fingers a break. Use your nose to pick at the button. I don't have a beak. That ain't gonna work. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, uh, well. I just wanna try it again. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. You guys ready? Oh, here we go. I smoke a latte to be dollar thirty. He says, "I'm hoping you would do this second race with Mary last since you're doing it now. It has rubber band mechanics, meaning if you go too fast, she will go even faster. You have to go slow at certain parts, and she will go slower. So, how close to her should I stay? Are you saying basically I should stay right behind her until the very end and then surpass her at the end? I understand that. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. Let's try that, right? Let's give that a shot." Let's give it a shot. All right, so I'm gonna let her pass me, see? All right, try to catch, yep, I'm gonna stop, okay, go. Okay, I'm, not, I'm gonna let her stay ahead. Okay. Catch up. Right, I'm catching up. All right, I'm just gonna wait. Gotta stay right, stay right with her until the end. I don't know where the race ends, though. That's kind of a bummer. If I knew where it ended, I would know when to go all in at the end here and go crazy. But I don't know when the race ends. Right now? I don't know. I'm going all in. I'm going all in. I don't know if this is the end, but I'm going all in. Damn, this wasn't the end, was it? 
Now she's catching me. She's gonna catch me. Oh! Oh my god, she's gonna catch me. She's right on my ass. She's gonna catch me. I have to do it again. Fucking shit. Oh, she beat me. Yep. I did it too early. I did it too early. But I know how to do it. Alright. <laughs> so I would say stay on pace with her until you go way high up. And then when you're going way high up, then go crazy all in for the very end. You didn't choose it. Did you enjoy the Black Ops 1 campaign when it came out? And I hear you on the tips thing. It makes sense. Yes, I absolutely did enjoy Black Ops 1 campaign. That was the one where at the very beginning you kill a dictator. Who is supposed to be like a body double, but you don't know that at the time. <laughs> Hello, Crapcock. How are you today? All right, here we go. So I'm gonna do just what I did. I'm gonna stay on pace with her till we go way high up at that spire. And then when we're at that spire, that's when I'm gonna go all in, okay? Someone named Mike Hawk, who's trying to get me to say Mike Hawk on stream, to me a thirty. Thank you very much for the tip. Very mature of you. So just stay on pace, stay right here behind her until we go way high up and then go crazy. <clears throat> Cause I did it way too early, not knowing how long the race was. Okay. Rubber band mechanics, that's messed up. <laughs> Activate turbo. See, not yet. Don't go crazy yet. Stay behind her, but don't overtake her yet. Not yet. Not till we go all the way high up. Then I'm gonna go crazy. How does this even make sense? Why is this mouse flying? This is real life. Like, wait a minute. I just like taking this for granted the whole time. It's a fucking wind up mouse. It's flying. What is going on here? Not yet. Not yet. <clears throat> Alright, I think we're going to start going all the way up now. Almost. <clears throat> I'm fused into her body. That's nice. <laughs> they really didn't think this through very well, did they? Okay. All right, we're going way high up, like I said. As soon as we start our descent, that's when I'm going to go crazy. Here's are going all the way up. Very nice. All right, are you ready? Three, two, one, and... And... Go for it! That's how it's done. Very nice. Whew. <clears throat> did I lose? Sure did, lady. Now hand over that papery thing. My last possession. <laughs> there you go. Well, that's it then. I reckon I'll be off for my dinner. What are you having? A nice worm sandwich and a tasty bag of millet. Hmm, uh, sounds good. How about a third race to let us try and win your dinner? <clears throat> well, no. You probably win, and then I go hungry. See you around, fellow bird and bear buddy. All right. So let's grab it. Nice. Whew. That was interesting, huh? Thanks for telling me about that rubber band mechanic, Ice Milk Latte. All right. So I got that dollar tip from Mike Hawk. Oh boy, let's get that up on the leaderboard. All right, super blind man, what is going on, sir? He just resubbed for 41 months in a row. 
that's consecutive months, but accumulative. 60 months. I believe Super Blind Man actually has been subscribed to me every month since I streamed on Twitch. Seriously. <clears throat> and he says the following. Hey, DSP, I did it. That's five years, my friend. Five of them. Keep being the awesome you that you are. Stay positive and stay hyped for the future. Thank you, sir. Not only for the ongoing support, but for being an overall awesome dude. Congratulations on all your successes recently. And uh, I wish you the best. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. Celebratory burps that I didn't mean to do. Red Spider-Man just cheered and said, Good game, DSP. Thank you very much, Red Spider-Man. Yeah, that was a tough one. If you didn't know... <clears throat> if you didn't know there were rubber band mechanics, that would be nearly impossible to do. So I'm glad that I knew. Thank you for telling me I smoke a latte. Okay. Let us now do our best. To figure out how to do this bee stuff, I know there's one flower right nearby. Right this way, where I came from, right? How I attack it or whatever, I don't know. What do I do? Uh, I don't know what to do here. Oh. There we go. Quick, you fool. Pass the Jiggy on. Alright, so I gotta find and kill all the flowers. There's obviously more than one. I know there's one over near um, Mumbo's hut over here. Wow, I spoke a lot to Timmy Dollar Thirty. He says, "Yeah, that's pretty much the most cancerous part of the game. He could never beat it as a kid, so uh, he's happy that you know I beat it." Here it is. Is that not the guy I needed to kill? Where's the? Where's, there's gotta be another one around here, then. Where is it? Gotta find it. Oh, you can zoom in while flying. Oh. Okay. This is neat that you can actually see everything around now. But at the same time, I don't see the. I don't see the other flower. That's Mumbo, that's not it. <clears throat> I don't know where the other, maybe it's high up? Let's go up here. That's the fake Mumbo, huh? Here's one. That wasn't it. Ah, crap. What could it be? It's a big stage, so it's gonna be tricky to find it. See, he wants to do his race. I can't do that till I can get up there as Banjo. What's up here? There's a cave. Whoa, look at that. That's gotta be the boss. Oh my god, I can't control it enough to get in there. Huh? What the fuck? How do you open this? It sure looks like a bee. But it doesn't open. Huh. I think you guys smoke a latte for that dollar tip. This little wind sound effect. Huh. So I don't know, I gotta find this flower. Where the frig is it? Where is it? Where 
Alright, so not down here. Could it be all the way down here? I haven't been down here yet. This is like a bouncy castle or something. Right? Well, I see a bunch of eggs and there's a chicky inside. How the hell do I get in here? What the heck? I need to get here and just throw a clockwork dude in here. Yeah. And a clockwork guy could probably get that jiggy. You son of a bitch. Alright, so that's not it. At least I know what that is now. Ugh. Not here. Oh my god, where could it be? I don't even know what this is. Cheese. There's probably a challenge in there to do, but I don't want to do that yet. Uh, oh my god. This is annoying. I keep, keep going in circles for an hour until I figure out where the hell this last flower is. Down here? I didn't go down here yet as the bee. <clears throat> Jerk Store says maybe Jerry Seinfeld was watching his kid play this game and give him the idea for a bee movie. Is this it? Aha! My rare eyeballs, GB and Plant should kill them all. Nice. All right. How many do I got now? Let's see. Only four, holy crap. There's also another hidden page. So, there's different areas I can go. I go to the cheese. I could go to the house. Um, the bouncy house. You know, the, the red house. I think those are going to be two jiggies right there. Uh, a mumbo. I need to go plant the seeds. And then a mumbo make the seeds grow. That's another thing I can do. Or I can go all the way up. You know what? Let's go. Oh my god. Let's go all the way up to the top and hit that target and see what happens. There's a target all the way up here. Yeah, see, so there's a target right here. Now zoot this lots of times. Your shooting is not good enough. What? Uh, sure. Well, I'm not gonna get it now. Oh my god, this is annoying. There we go. Nice shooting. Why not come inside? He's probably gonna be the boss. <clears throat> Let's see, where is that?
Okay. Greetings. It's Zubba's nest. As you can see, we Zubba's have a new nest. To celebrate, <clears throat> we arranged a little shooting game. If you score 40 points or more, we'll give you a prize. Manage to beat 50 points, and then there's an extra pr special prize. Okay. Need any instructions? Yes. It's really easy. Just shoot my friends as they fly around. Try to score as many points as you can within 60 seconds. Blue ones are worth three. The green ones are worth two. And of course, red are worth one, of course. Ready? Okay. I got the first prize. Oh my god. So I got the page. Probably a Jinjo is the top prize, I bet. Pure Ricato says, How's it going? I'm getting a good end of the week. Chill vibes from today's stream. This game ain't so bad. It's some frustrating parts for sure, but it's definitely not so bad. Uh, nowhere near frustration levels of like, uh, you know, Donkey Kong 64. That's gonna forever be in my mind as the worst platformer of the 90s I've ever played. Like, I can't think about how it could be worse. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Here we go. <clears throat> Ready, you get 50 points to get the Jiggy. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just smashing. Oh, I did it already. I'm just smashing the button, I'm not even aiming. Look, I'm just mashing around. go. No skill at all, just smash. And it worked. You blasted enough of us to win first prize. A jiggy, of course. So where is that? Over there. Okay. Alright. Wanna play again? Hell no. Let me out of here. <clears throat> Snooze, Snoozy Biku did a hundred bit cheer and said, uh, Don't you find it strange the bees let you into their own home to kill off their entire species? Did Rare predict a refugee crisis? What? No, I don't think they did. I don't even know what you're talking about. <clears throat> Jojo Bizarre said, Imagine being a game tester. I just through hours of the nauseating flight of that part of the game. Yeah. All right, let's go back to uh, Wumba. Have her turn us back to human. I say human, I mean bear, right? Then, 
What we need to do is find a flight pad and we can fly up to the cheese. We can fly down to the bouncy house and try to figure out what those things are. Then we gotta fly around to the places we can plant seeds. County Cayman did a hundred victories at Stenro Red Row, which means Murder Hornets. Uh, it's Murder Hornets backwards. <laughs> uh, yeah, because those weren't bees, I think those were hornets. Or maybe they were wasps. <clears throat> Alright, we're done here. Good progress so far. So, I believe there's a flight pad around here. No, I guess not. I gotta get off this, uh, get off this island and get somewhere that has a flight pad. <clears throat> Up here? I don't think that has a flight pad either. Uh, I guess it, it doesn't matter. I still gotta go over there. <laughs> Spring shoes. What do I need the spring shoes for? Are we going inside? Yeah, I was going over there. I see. That's how I got this, uh, Jiggy, I believe. Not Jiggy, uh, Jinjo. So I gotta find an exit that takes me to the flight pad. I don't know which one it is. No, this isn't it. Uh, I'm gonna do every door till I find the flight pad. Not that. that I, well, is it? Nah, I don't know. Let's go check it. <clears throat> Aha. Okay. So first, let's go all the way up to the cheese. Where was that? Probably on the other side. I mean, there's so many places to go. Here's one right here. Actually, let's check this out. This real high up thing. Let's see where this goes. There's another flight pad right here anyway. <clears throat> oh. Well, I did happen to get a note. I can't see. There's more notes over here. Look. Aha, look what I found. I hit all four combination locks. Nice. You see what's in the super stash now. 1984. I should have remembered that. It's a real rare date. Maybe that's when rare was founded. All right, so you know what? We're done up here now. But is there somewhere else that I can drop down that would benefit me? Hmm. There's nothing above me. Nah, I don't really see anything. There is a ledge I need to get to as just Banjo to do the, the sack race, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Because if I'm Banjo and Kazooie, it ain't gonna work. Hmm. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I got two very generous tips. One from Vaini Virgo Tototo, which basically means Vaini Penis, I believe. 
and he says, how's your back feeling? You know, but yesterday my back was really sore and in pain. Today it feels better. I think what it is, I did pull a back muscle. It wasn't like, oh my God, I re-injured my, my disc in my lower back or anything like that. Thank God. Because <clears throat> please, Lord, don't ever let me get a back injury again like I had, you know, over 10 years ago. It was so bad. I mean, that was such a bad time in my life. So I don't ever want that to go back to how it was, you know. So... I'm sorry, Vaini Virgo Toto Tota. I'm not gonna put Vaini Penis on my leaderboard, but I will call you Double V. Double V. Thank you for the twenty dollar tip. My back is feeling better today. I think I just needed to rest it properly. I probably wrenched it at some point in my sleep or something. Um, then One Minute Man tipped me twenty dollars. So thank you to One Minute Man for a twenty dollar tip. Ladies and gentlemen, we are more than halfway to the tip's goal for today's stream and keeping that vest streak alive, so thank you for your support. <clears throat> okay. Now, that's good that we did that. I'm going to go get that one later. I didn't get it yet. But i got to find the cheesy building. Where is it? There it is, the cheese building. I wonder if that's something to do with the mice. I guess we'll find out. And then I can drop down and, and plant one of those. Uh, actually, I, I mean, technically I could plant one of them now. Maybe I need to be in here just as Banjo or Kazumi by themselves. I'm not sure. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> what on earth am I looking at? What is this? Uh, what the fuck? I have no clue what I'm looking at. What I'm supposed to do? Like, I can't jump on that. There's spikes on it. <clears throat> right? do this I doubt he's gonna be able to step on it I guess I should get my my health back this is very confusing it looks like you need to get onto that and then from there you need to get onto that and you platform to the Jinjo but how if there's spikes on the garlic. Oh, you need to be just Banjo because Banjo could get in the bag and the bag is protected from things on his feet. So that's why I need to drop down here and plant this seed. Yup. Then I have Mumbo use his magic to make that seed grow and then Banjo can go up there by himself. See that? Now what I also need to do... I need to plant the other seed. But I can't remember where the spot was to plant the other seed. <clears throat> Shit. I'm also not seeing a way to get like back over there, so I guess I need to use... this flower. Oh, well, this is cool, but I need to I need to break up Banjo and Kazooie and get back here somehow. Mommy Kulasso destruction. We all know what that means, by the way. Timmy fifty dollars says this is Virgo Toto Tota. It doesn't mean veiny penis for me. It means something else in my culture. But okay, just trying to help a little. I appreciate your help, but I can't put disgusting things on my leaderboard. <clears throat> so instead of Aunt Mommy Kulasso destruction, which would get me in trouble. I've got to put 
MCD. All right. <laughs> Thank you for the $50 tip. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is official. We've hit the tips goal for the stream. So thank you for all that help <clears throat> and support. I appreciate that. And uh, we're going to get the vest. Alrighty then. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> okay. Well, folks, thank you for the support, especially this person who just tipped a ridiculous amount. I appreciate that very much. I'm sorry I can't put these disgusting names on my leaderboard, okay? <clears throat> All right, now, the real question here is, how do I get Banjo by himself to here? That's the question. I need to get Banjo by himself to this point, and I don't know how to do that. That's the problem right now. Because if I separate in here, all right, let's see where I am. If I separate in here, that's all well and good. But then how do I get Banjo high enough to be on this ledge, go outside and use the flow and do all that stuff? Because Banjo cannot use the spring shoes. Banjo cannot use the wall walker shoes, right? There's got to be a way to get Banjo here by himself. Crabcock just did a 516-bit uh, cheer, and he said, oh, he says nothing. That's the biggest cheer of the day. Also, Red Spider-Man, I apologize. I missed your cheer. He says, I hope nothing but the best for your health-wise DSP. I hope more good things come your way. Thank you, Red Spider-Man. That's very nice of you. Thank you for the sentiment. So, Crabcock is now the top uh, cheerer of the day. I appreciate that. So, I feel like there's a mystery here, right? There's a mystery I need to solve. Oh, how do I get Banjo by himself onto this ledge? There's got to be a way. I mean, it's gotta be either he falls from the ceiling or he floats, right? Let's take a look. Hello, Super Bat Cat. How's it going? Well, the thing is, fall from the ceiling. He's, there's the ledge up there, but there's no way to get up there again as just Banjo. You need to fly up there in order to get up there as Banjo. So, that's not the solution. Hmm. This is starting to stump me. Right? Damned if I know how to do this. There's only one teleportation spot. Let's think about what Banjo can do. Hold on. Banjo can sleep. Banjo can become small and jump. That's not gonna help. Ooh, Banjo can pick stuff up with his knapsack. I just figured it out. No, I didn't. Because I was gonna say, can he carry it over there and drop it over on the ledge? Right? And then use it to carry him up. But no, he can't. It immediately makes him fly. Wait. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, come on, you fucker. Ooh. Dude, these guys are assholes. Yes, yeah, see what happens is I need to I need to do it. I need to keep picking him up and dropping him. I think that's what it is. Maybe I'm wrong. But it seems like you can make multiple carry this thing. These guys are annoying. <clears throat> then again, I don't think you're going to be able to get high enough. There's no way, because these guys are going to spawn anyway. This isn't it. Alright, so maybe then, the, maybe the key. Alright. Oh, really? Alright, hold on a second, guys. I got another tip, and I want to read it. Because the guy's saying it's not as bad as I think it is. Okay. This cave is so annoying because I can't just get around where I want. Because these guys keep chasing me. Look, it's fucking annoying, man. Look at that. I just want to go up to, to fucking where Kazooie is. I can't get up there. It's super annoying. Annoying bastards. So, I, I think what I need to do, what I should do is plant, I gotta find where the other seed is, plant it. And then what I should do is figure out how to utilize Mumbo to make them grow, and then see what that will lead me to, because maybe I'll be able to somehow get over there as just Banjo then. That's what I'm thinking. I spoke a lot to actually just said that, literally word for word. He took me a dollar, so that's what I need to do. Okay. So, Kulaso Amore is saying that basically his name means Big Butt Love. I guess I should confirm that. Let's see here. <laughs> Spanish for huge ass. Okay. I guess I could put Kulaso Amori up on the leaderboard. That's not so bad. And he took me $52. So thank you very much. I get this up to $159 because of the dollar tip here from um from Ice Mocha Latte. So thank you for the support, guys. We have far exceeded the tip's goal so far for this stream. So thank you for that very much. <laughs> 